Hello and welcome back to Will It Work. Today we're going to take a look at the 7th generation iPod Nano and Lightning accessories. This Nano came out in 2012, just after the iPhone 5 did, which was the first iPhone with a Lightning connector. However, this is not an iOS device, so we'll try to find out in this video if it's on equal footing with the iPhone and the iPad and so forth, or if it's just kind of the forgotten redheaded stepchild of the family. So to start with, we're going to take a look at probably the two most common lightning accessories people are familiar with outside of a power cable. That is the lightning to ear pods and the lightning to three and a half millimeter audio jack. So the lightning connector has no analog audio in it. So all of these type of audio accessories have a digital to analog converter in them or a DAC that is located in this case right behind the connector and that converts the digital information into audio. So let's see if these work. Now on Apple's website, the, both of these are listed as requiring iOS 10 and the Nano is nowhere listed on the models that are compatible with it. So let's see if that's actually true. We'll start with the uh, ear pods. Yeah, accessory not supported and they don't work at all. And let's try this one. Same thing and nothing will work out of this. Okay, so what's going on here? Both these came out in 2016 with the iPhone 7, and that's the year Apple pulled the headphone jack. And that also shipped with iOS 10, that phone. And all of the iPhones that have the lightning connector going all the way back to the original, the 5, can be updated to iOS 10. However, the iPod Nano is not an iOS device like we talked about, so apparently they didn't bother to update the iPod to support these devices. So I went out and I took a look at a lot of the third-party accessories for lightning headphones, earbuds, converters, splitters, things like that, and there's a million of them on Amazon. After Apple pulled the headphone jack in 2016, this industry really kind of took off. There wasn't a ton of lightning accessories prior to Apple pulling the headphone port. There were some, but not very many. And if you go on and look at all of these devices, you'll see the same thing. Requires iOS 10, or sometimes they just start saying iPhone 7 and higher, and they don't even mention the iOS, so it kind of is assumed you're on 10 because the 7 shipped with 10. I found a couple of devices that said they would work with the Nano, and one of them was no longer made. I wasn't able to order it, and then I got another one very similar to this in a more rugged housing from a company called Terra Grande in San Francisco. And I got it in, plugged it in, and I got the exact same thing. So I emailed the company. I said, hey, your website says that your headphone jack to lightning adapter works with the Nano, but I got accessory not supported. And the tech wrote me back, and he basically went to Apple's website and looked at the stats for this one and came back and said, yeah, it's a misprint, sorry. Um, how he explained it to me was when you license... Um, the lightning connector from Apple. You actually get the, the connector itself from Apple when you want to make your device. And he was saying the, the power lightning uh, connectors are different from the audio ones. And I think what he possibly meant was that when you go to Apple and you want to make an audio accessory, you get the DAC with it. Or maybe you have the option to get the DAC with it. And most people just do that. And that's why all these devices are very similar to this. They require iOS 10. Now, I know that we can get audio out of the lightning port. If you remember a long time ago when the iPods were real popular, there were all of these speaker docks with the 30-pin connector, and you could just plug your iPod into the speaker dock and listen to music. And then when Apple switched to Lightning, these companies uh, very quickly came out with Lightning speaker docks as well. Sony, JBL, Bose, iHome. And if you go through the manuals for their Lightning speaker docks, they all mention the Nano uh, working. And in fact, Sony's manual even goes into detail about what buttons on the remote work with the Nano versus what works with the iPhone and so forth. So I know that's not a misprint, like they really went into detail about that. So we know we can get uh, audio out of it. I even found the only set of um, headphones I found, lightning headphones over the year ones I found was from Sony as well. They don't make that model anymore. They were like $300 and they listed the Nano as well. So I'm inclined to believe they work with the uh, Nano, because Sony pretty much seems to know what they're talking about in their instruction manuals with this. So I, I know we can obviously get audio out of it, but maybe these are just two new devices. Maybe what we need to do is go back in time a little bit until we can find one that works. 
Okay, so this is Apple's Lightning Dock, and it's for charging and syncing, of course, but it actually has a headphone jack here in the back, so it has a DAC in it and will convert the digital information into audio so you can plug it into some speakers. And this is listed as compatible on Apple's website with the seventh generation Nano, so that's good, right? So let's try it out. What? Accessory not supported, Apple's website said it worked. So as it turns out, it will sync and charge out of the lightning connector in the back, but the DAC does not work. It will not output any audio. So I don't consider an accessory that only half the features work on it to be compatible. I, I don't think Apple should have that listed as such. And I certainly don't if every single time you plug it in just to sync and charge, you get a pop-up message that says accessory not supported. That's a mistake on Apple's part. They should not have listed that as compatible. Believe it or not, this is not the first Lightning dock that Apple made. They didn't make one for the original iPhone 5, but they got back in the dock business for the 5S in the fall of 2013. Now, there was one for the 5S and the 5C. Um, now, they weren't marketed at anything other than those two phones because of this um, cavity in here that only fit that specific phone. In fact, with the Nano's lightning port here on the right side, it wouldn't even go down all the way. It would get caught. However, I do have a lightning extension cable, so we can try it out anyway, and maybe the circuitry in this is a little bit different. Nope, same thing. Accessory not supported and the DAC does not work in this as well. So we're back to the fall of 2013 and we still don't have anything that works. Maybe we need to go a little bit further back in time. Okay, so let's go back to 2012, right as Apple introduces the iPhone 5 with the new lightning port. They come out with this. This is a 30 pin to lightning adapter so that you could use your old 30 pin accessories with the new iPhone. And Apple lists this as being compatible with the seventh generation Nano. It does have a DAC in it, unlike the third party ones you usually see that only do sync and charge. The Apple one has a DAC in it and will convert that digital information to analog audio. This was primarily used in those old speaker docks I was talking about earlier, the 30 pin ones, or maybe some car connectors. Uh, and there were some audio cables as well with a male uh, headphone jack on them. But I actually found one company that made this, which was 30 pin to uh, female. So let's put this on. And now I have effectively recreated this dongle that Apple makes. So let's test this out and see if it works. No accessory not supported yet. <laughs> I'm going to take a little speaker I have here. This does Bluetooth, but it also does an auxiliary input. And uh, let's put it in and see if we can get something going. There it is. We finally have audio coming out of the lighting port. Crazy, isn't it? It's very interesting because it, there's no volume control on the uh, Nano itself. This outputs the analog volume at full blast and expects your device to control the volume on it. Now in a lot of my videos I use this little uh, speaker and plug it in that's powered, but it has no volume controls. If I plug this into that end of this cord here, after a few seconds it would probably blow the little tweeter in this. It's that loud. So we're just going to do uh, this little speaker here where we can control the volume and make sure nothing gets blown up. Okay, so let's talk about lightning microphones because this Nano has a voice recording app. And if you plug in Apple's um, ear pods into the headphone jack, the little voice memos app will come up and you can make recordings. So how do lightning ones hold up? Well, what I have here is my Shure microphone I use in my videos. I normally have it just out of frame, but I'm showing it to you this time. And it has a micro USB connection on the back and a lightning on the other end. And I plug that into my phone, it works just fine. If I plug it into the Nano, nothing happens. I don't get an accessory not supported, just nothing happens. The voice memo app doesn't work at all. 
So this, the Nano was not listed as being compatible with this, so that was not in itself a big surprise. So I went looking around for lightning microphones that would work with the Nano. And the situation there is even worse than the uh, ear pods and headphones category. Uh, I only found one company that had two devices that they listed as working with the Nano. That was Boya. They had a condenser mic and a lavalier mic. I was a little skeptical, so I emailed the company. I was like, are you sure this actually works with the Nano? It's a non-iOS device, you know. And their, their reply did not fill me with a lot of confidence. The, the letter I got back from the lady, or the email I got back from the lady said, yes, it will work. Your Nano has a lightning port, so it will work. So anyway, I bought it off of Amazon because I knew I could send it back if it didn't work. And I got that in, and it does the same thing as the Shure microphone here. No error message, but it just doesn't work. So I sent that back and I went to plan B from Amazon and I thought I would try to get a old 30 pin microphone for the iPhone and iPods and then run it through the adapter again. And I figured if this had any chance of working, I was going to have to get one of the latter microphones that was made, not early ones for like the third generation iPod or the fourth generation iPod. So I got this one here called Blue or it's from Blue, it's called Mikey, and it's the second generation version of this, and it came out in 2010, right before the uh, Nano 6 generation came out. So it's from that era. So it's probably one of the last, or the last, 30-pin uh, microphone. So let's see if it works. Yeah. Nope. And the voice memo app doesn't come up. So this doesn't work either. Um, interestingly enough, there is a little pass through here. It's the mini USB. Remember that? The fatter version of micro USB. And you could power your um, iPod or iPhone through it. And that does work. And syncing as well, interestingly enough. The whole thing works. So even though the accessory shuts down, I actually could sync and charge through this as well. So essentially it's working like Apple's lightning dock where it says accessory not supported, the main feature of it doesn't work, but it'll sync and charge. So it looks like the only way you're going to get a microphone to work on the Nano is to go in through the headphone port. Okay, so there are a few other kind of lightning accessories out there like lightning to HDMI for video output, Lightning to SD card readers to import photos. Lightning to Ethernet jack for a wired LAN connection. But the operating system of the Nano doesn't support any of those things, and Apple doesn't list those as being compatible with the Nano, so I think we can safely skip testing those. Now, if there was one Lightning accessory that was not audio related that might have a chance of working, it's going to be the Lightning to USB adapter, which I've used so many times in my videos. Because although it's a general purpose adapter, there are, of course, USB uh, speakers and there are USB microphones. So I thought maybe we might have a chance on that working within the confines of the Nano's operating system. So I'm going to plug it in here. And as you can see, we will not get the accessory not supported error, which is odd because Apple doesn't list this as being compatible. But nothing works. No USB audio in or out, speakers or microphone, nothing. In fact, it's got a little lightning port here where you can charge your iPhone uh, while you have this plugged in and it won't even charge the Nano. It's like completely dead. And here's another odd quirk. So if you plug this into an iPhone, even without um, the lightning power going through the pass-through, you do get a little bit of power out of this uh, USB port. See, the light comes on there. But on the Nano, also, to show that how dead this thing really is, it won't even put out any power to that light. Now, here's where it gets really weird. This is a third-party lightning to USB adapter I got recently. I haven't shown it off in a video yet, but man, everything I've thrown at this works. Um, there's nothing that the Apple one can do that this one can't do, with the exception it doesn't have the, the lightning port to uh, charge through it. And it equally doesn't work on the Nano as far as uh, USB audio, but if I plug it in here, it will power that light. I have no idea why. why what's different about that? But yeah, it's a, it's a no-go on the Lightning to USB adapter. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you, I kind of went back and forth on whether I was going to buy one of these or not, because I didn't really think it was going to do anything, but I knew some people had asked about it, so I was able to get this really cheap, like $8. Walmart was clearing them out online. 
and that is the Lightning to micro USB adapter that Apple made starting back in 2012. It was mainly sold in Europe to comply with some regulation about having a standard connector for power over there, but you could also buy it in the United States. And basically what it allows you to do is turn a micro USB charging cable into just the regular Lightning to USB cable that we have and all know. So in that regard, it does work with the Nano. Apple lists it as compatible and it does exactly what it says in that capacity. What I was curious about was whether because it data comes in and out of it that way as far as when you're syncing, um, I was curious if we'd get anything else to work with it. So for instance, this is a USB on the go cable. So it's kind of like, kind of like Apple's lightning to USB adapter. And I tried this out and absolutely nothing worked. No uh, power up or down this uh, cord or uh, likewise with um, data. It was just dead as a doornail. And I even tracked down, and there's not a lot of these. They're out there, but there's not a lot of these. These are uh, micro USB earbuds. I believe these are from Samsung. And they have a DAC in them just like the Lightning earbuds does. And I put that in and absolutely no audio came out of that. I can't say that any of that is a surprise, but I just wanted to put it in this video because I knew some people would ask about this little adapter. However, for its stated purpose, it uh, works just fine with the Nano. So to sum it up, what is the state of Lightning accessories in the Nano 7th generation? Abysmal, awful, atrocious. Apple clearly didn't care too much about um, making this compatible with their changes that they made in Lightning over the years because their early adapters worked like the 30 pin and then they started making changes to it, rolling those changes into iOS updates and then forgetting to do it on the Nano because they just didn't care. It just wasn't that priority, much of a priority to them. And I know a lot of you out there are saying, it's got a headphone jack, you don't need the Lightning jack for anything. And my argument to that would be, well, so did the iPhone 5 and the 5S and the 5C and the 6 and the 6S and the SE. They all had both and they got the changes rolled into iOS updates and they were able to use all those lightning devices. And maybe you want to use a different DAC than the one that Apple provided. So there's reasons to support the lightning port. Headphone jacks break sometimes as well. So I really think Apple dropped the ball on this. I just don't think they cared that much about the Nano, even though they sold it for five years and I will point out that all of the things that don't work like the uh, let's see the 5s lightning dock and the regular lightning dock and the lightning ear pods and the lightning audio adapter cable they were all introduced within the lifespan of the nano it was sold from 2012 to 2017 and these things that were broken and don't work on the nano came out from uh, 13 to 16 so this was a shipping product and uh, they just didn't support it. So anyway, uh, once in a while I have a video like this where not a lot works or nothing worked. Uh, it's unfortunate, but I did want to just kind of show everybody the major types of lightning accessories and would they work? And they basically don't. Um, I'm sure there are things out there that I missed that do. Um, there probably are a couple of things out there I never came across, but my guess is they would be from the early days of Lightning and not the latter days of Lightning, not 2016 and on. It would probably be some sort of early accessory that got discontinued and I just couldn't find any information on it. But if you know of anything that actually works with the Nano that I've missed, put it in the comments down below because there's so many of them, there's no way I could have uh, hit them all. But uh, anyway, I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please like and subscribe. I'll be back soon, but that's all for now. Take care.